Dear Systems Biology Community, Today I want to show you that reproducible models in Systems Biology get more citations than non-reproducible models. My name is Sebastian Höpfel from the Institute of Stochastics and Applications from the University of Stuttgart and let's dive in directly. So here is the data set which we investigated. So it's from Tivari et al. and they investigated 455 models in Systems Biology and from these only every second was directly reproducible. From the 49% of the models which were not directly reproducible, they also tried to uh, make empirical corrections and try to contact the authors. And you see, even with these measures, they were not able to um, reproduce these 37% of the models, so they were not reproducible at all. We compared these directly reproducible models against these not reproducible models at all. To compare these two groups, we used Bayesian estimation. In particular here, the Bayesian estimation supersedes the t-test model from uh, John K. Kruschke. And you see, we have in a Bayesian context a prior for the mean, sigma and j parameters of a non-central t-distribution. At this non-central t-distribution, we try to fit on every data set we investigate. So we draw mu uh, and sigma parameters for this central t distribution and the shape parameter uh, decides if this non-central t distribution is more heavy tailed or more normal distribution like. And therefore we can also account for outliers in the data set. So we perform MCMC sampling to uh, calculate the posterior distributions of these non-central t distributions and we get posterior distributions for the mean parameters, the shape parameters, uh, the sigma parameters, and the shape parameters is always shared between the groups. And if we then look, for example, at the difference of means, so the difference of these posterior mean distributions, and we have 95% of the highest density interval of these values indicating a difference larger than zero in the two data sets then we have a credibly and significant difference of the means of these underlying data sets. So here we compared multiple periods against each other. So you see always the time here is the starting point and all periods were investigated up to 2020. This means in this period we investigated the papers published 2020 up to 2020. And you see if we compare the reproducible models on the x-axis against the non-reproducible models on the y-axis, we have always a significant higher citation count of reproducible models starting 2013. So always more than 95% credibility for a higher citation count in the reproducible models group. And this effect was also independent of the journal impact factor, means that it's not because all reproducible models were published in higher cited journals. Of course, we also asked ourselves critically, is looking at citations a good measure? And the answer to this is that we found a significant relationship between reproducible models and citations, only looking at the feature of reproducibility. There's a difference in the citation counts of these two groups. The only question is, why is this difference there? And we think this is of because of the impact of reproducibility. So reproducible models have some factors you don't have with not reproducible models. For example, facilitated cooperation, as you can couple models, you can share them easily. You have faster progress for the whole uh, scientific field because you can reuse model and you can also extend these models. And you can only do this and will only cite them if you're able to reproduce them, because if you're not able to reproduce them and use them, then you will not cite these models. And of course, you have also increased trust in science as you can validate and falsify these models. So in the end, how can you score in reproducibility? You can use modeling standards like SBML, PTAP or EnzymeML. You can use um, algorithms which are already there in the community and which can be reused by others. And you should upload your code and your data and your model into public repositories. 
So that was all from my side and in a short summary reproducibility has impact and since 2013 reproducible models got credibly more citations. We say that the individual researcher and science in general can benefit from that and everyone can score in reproducibility. And if you're now interested, here's the QR code for our paper. Thank you for your attention.